Hi everybody, in this uh, storytelling today, I'm going to tell you a story. And this is the story. Herman, the detective mouse. <coughs> Herman, the detective mouse. By Minnie Gray. It was a brave new day on Offy Street. Dr. Packer was reading medical monthly in the bathtub, blah, blah, blah. And <clears throat> Imogen Spots was having a tea party with her bear, Bobo. <clears throat> Emily at number 33 was pouring herself a bowl of crunchy face. Mm, no free gift again. <clears throat> Barbara Washer <coughs> was looking at his empty goldfish bowl. Lucky. Lady Kearney Plumney was talking on the phone and also dashing her arm out of the window. Lovely Lutus. Mrs. Madison was making a salad. And Captain Potts was trying to feed partially his cat. Baby Mongbol had just thrown his toes into the flower bed. And Blue Bowl Washer was putting a new sign outside the sh sausage shop. And I... Well, I was trying out that the new barbers that I found in my breakfast cereal that morning. Um... I'd better introduce myself. The first thing I can re remember, uh, sorry, um, here. I'd better introduce myself, so this should be here. I am Herman. The, the first thing I can remember is waking up in my cheese box, which smelled delicious. And finding I could read the name on it, it said Herman. So I knew that was what I was called. Then I found this attic. It was, it is at the top of number 33 of Free Street. It is full of books and boxes and books and also a typewriter. When I saw the typewriter, my paws tanked si slightly and I knew that I could write with it. I could write labels, I could write lists, I, I could write letters, I could write anything. Well, it was just after lunchtime on Offrey Street, and I was passing the Offrey Street notice board, and I had a good look at it. Lost back. It belongs to Mrs. Madison Black Leather, leather Containing Life Savings. Gonna, gone! Have you seen my teddy bobo? He is maybe not lost. Tell Morgan's blots. Maybe. Man with fin. What's that? I don't know. Finish my priceless diamond bracket is lost. Perhaps stolen. Gender's reward. No questions asked. Missing. My reading glass has disappeared. What? What's that word? I don't know. Not yet found and modified Dr. Parker. Disappeared. My beloved goldfish Lucky is gone from his bowl. <coughs> Have you seen my notebook? I, I would really like it back. Contains vital uh, information. Emily at number 33. P.S. To whoever is eating my cornflakes, help yourself. I thought to myself, great heavens, just look at all those lost things. These poor people of Office Street need some help. And I knew I was exactly the one for the job. The 
case book of Herman, the missing handbag of Mrs. Madison. <coughs> Mrs. Madison was had a uh, handbag was easy to locate. <coughs> Sorry. I tapped a note on her teapot. Ooh. Dr. Mrs. Madison, if you look in your what fridge, I think you will find your handbag hidden behind some lutes. You are truly, you are true. What you are truly, Herman. Thank you, Herman. Whoever you are. And then the last glass of Dr. Packer. And and I have a punch where Dr. Packer will find her glass. I attach her note to her alarm clock. Hmm? So thank goodness for Herman. But who is Herman? Dr. Packer, you will find your reading glass in chapter 26 of Medical Monthly, which is at the bottom of your bathtub. I am afraid it may be a bit soggy by now. Your sincerity, your sincerity Herman. The last teddy of human spot. I drop a note onto a modern spot's pillow. There I go. So actually it's inside the pie. And the disappearance of Lucky the Goldfish. And type Tapped into Barbell Sposher's empty goldfish bowl. So there you go. The finished diamonds of Lady Crumney Rumplumney. And a last message on jewelry box of Lady Crumney Crumney. So there you go. And hooray for Herman. Thank goodness for Herman. But who is Herman? The dramatic rescue of baby Mong Ball. <laughs> it is first day, which is trash day on Office Street, and I am on just on the, my way to return a lost notebook. I have found to what Emily at number thirty three when I was. When I see baby Mumbo has crawled out of a front window and has plopped into a soft bed of garbage. <coughs> Go. So I must help. The garbage truck is getting near. But th uh, there is no time to type. But maybe I can use a notebook. I struggle with the what? With the stubby pencil. My paws are not good at this sort of thing. Fold, fold. When I when a message is written, I fold as quick as I can into an airplane shape that will fly well. And with the last of my strength, I hurl the plane toward Mr. Mumble's open window. And there was a splash lander into Mr. Mumble's what? Crunchy flakes, and then Doctor Mumbo, please hurry, baby. Mumbo is in the trash and in Perd Herman. <coughs> Stop, goo. <coughs> Mister Mumbo just managed to reach the uh munch uh what letter automatic garbage gobbler in time. <clears throat> the next morning of the, on the notice board there was message for me invitation dear Herman we don't know who you are but you have helped everybody and you have saved it, the life of baby Mumbo please come to our thank you party in your honor at Bosher Sausage Shop at 4 p.m. this afternoon. Everyone wants to meet you, your, your, 
Yours gratefully, the people of Uffy Street. So I spent some time in my attic smartening up my fur. <coughs> Quite a crowd has scattered. I felt very nervous, but I took a deep breath and stepped to, to, to forward to say hello. Yeah. Mouse! There was a blood freezing scream and a rushing of feet. Fangs were knocked it over and I was nearly injured. Mouse, but what's so bad about being a mouse? Back in my attic, I conjured the encyclopedia, unclean, unhygienic, and wondered the different truth wars. <coughs> I was a beast. So these are the pieces: silver fish and crocodile, tick, flea, moth, and ant. So I suddenly felt very lonely. It was time to leave off the street. <coughs> Sorry, I packed up some things to take with me in the morning, and then sadly went to sleep in my cheese box. <coughs> <coughs> But while I was sleeping, someone found me. Someone who had followed the tra trail of crumbs and cream that led up the steps to my very own, her very own attic. That someone looked it. Had a good look around, and then took out a mouse side note and tucked it into my cheese box. And the detective mouse needs needed with good typing skills. Could you be the one I'm looking for? If so, come down to breakfast with me, Emily. I'm waiting. Now I have breakfast every day in the kitchen downstairs at number three, number thirty-three with Emily, who says she is a bit of a detective too. We read the cereal boxes and the newspaper, and we hunt carefully for clues because we have a plan to start a detective agency. As Emily suspected, there are still a few mysteries to be solved around Office Street. So that's the end of this book about Herman the Detective Mouse. So thanks for watching. Like and subscribe my channel. Remember to comment. Don't miss other episodes and storytelling and more, more videos. Don't miss it. Bye. See you in the next episode.